Hi everybody, this is Miss Cox, and today I'm going to show you how to create a chart in Google Spreadsheets. So I already have my data here in my spreadsheet. I just need to graph it or put it in a chart. So the first thing you have to do is select the data you want to graph. And you'll see I have the data, the same data, in two different ways. One over here and one over here. I'll show you why I did that in a minute. The first thing is I'm going to select the data. Now, if I select just the number and go to the chart button, chart button's right over here. You can also go to insert and then chart. Same thing. Well, you'll see if I go to a column chart here, the animals don't appear. And that's because when I went over here, I only chose the number. So it's important that you choose all the information you want to appear on the chart. So the categories and the numbers. I also like to select the category headers. Um, sometimes that will solve some issues. So I recommend trying to select the category labels, but not the overall title. So here, I've selected what I need to chart. I'm going to click on the chart button. Now, in this second option here, charts, you have all sorts of different options for your chart. So I'm going to choose a column chart for this, just a basic column chart. And the customized option allows you to switch all sorts of things. You can add a chart title, so you always want to have a title for your chart. This would be student pets, because that's what this chart is about. I'm going to change my size to 18, so it's just a little bigger. You'll see there's a legend option here. You need a legend in your chart if you have multiple colors in your chart. I only have one color, so I'm going to remove the legend. There's no reason to have a legend if you only have one color. And then down here, you'll see the axis. You can label your two axes this way. So for my horizontal axis, I'm going to call it types or type of pet. And it kind of blends in if it's just italicized. I like to unitalicize and bold it. It stands out a little more. And then I'm going to go to the left vertical and change this to a uh, number of pets. There we go. Done. So there you go. Once you're done, you just click insert. You can also scroll down and change the color this way. So maybe I want the pets to be purple. I can go to insert and bam. Now you can also edit it right here. So maybe you decide you don't like purple. You can click on that, change the color to, let's go blue. You can click on the title and edit the title this way. If you want to get back into the advanced editing options, you click up on the top and click on the drop down and go to advanced edit. To move this, you click and then look for the little hand icon and then you can drag it. Now, that's the first way to do it. Now, sometimes your data was going to be sideways like this. So I want to show you what happens sometimes if your data is sideways. So let's say I go to create a chart with this data. It's the same exact data. And I go to bar. Now, if you take a look, something weird happened. Down here now it says number. And over here, it still is the votes, or not the votes, it's still the number of pets, but all the pets are different colors now. I don't think this is very helpful. Um, honestly, it's kind of confusing to have to look for each color when it could be much more easily just labeled right underneath the horizontal axis. If this happens, all you have to do is click here to switch rows slash columns, and bam, it'll switch it back to the way it should be. So this is the big trick. If you ever open up a chart and you're thinking, this isn't exactly what I want, click on the switch rows slash columns, and usually it'll switch it so it is what you were originally thinking. And then this use column D as headers will add words to your legend if you have a legend, or remove words from your legend. In this case, it doesn't really matter because I only have one color here. So at this point, I actually want to get rid of the legend. Okay, so last thing. Here's one cool thing you may not be aware of. If you go to insert, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see this. If you insert your chart and you need to change your data. So for example, let's say I made a mistake and actually 10 people have birds and not one. If I change that information up here where I pulled the information from for the chart and hit enter, it'll automatically change it in the chart, which is pretty nice. So keep in mind, your chart is actually tied to the data you still have. So if you make any changes to that, it will change in your chart. 
The last tip I have for you is if you click here on the vertical axis, you can actually change the range. So for example, maybe I want this to end instead at 15 instead of instead of 16. I can do that. I can move it down to 14. You can change the minimum and maximum. I can even make the minimum negative. So you have some options there if you want to play with that. For this chart, it's not super important, but it is a nice feature. With that, those are really the basics of creating a chart in a Google spreadsheet. I hope this was helpful and helped uh, remind you how to do it. Thank you for watching.